Hello there! I am Senpai, the host of Senpai Streams on Facebook Gaming, and we've been doing a lot of YouTube tutorials to help other streamers, help uh, some audience members, help people to understand uh, the software behind streaming, as well as some best practices. Today's topic is going to be one that we've had a lot of confusion about in the past, especially with people that haven't used the program. This program is called Discord. So, Discord can feel a little overwhelming for a lot of people. Uh, when I first got into it, I thought there was so much going on, but after playing around with it a little bit, it's super easy to use. Um, you just kind of have to know exactly what you're looking at. So that's what today's topic is going to be. Uh, it's going to be an introduction to Discord, exactly how to use it, what it is, and um, your best ways to navigate it, so to say, is what we're going to be getting into. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're here on my desktop. Now, everything you're going to see me doing on the desktop Discord, you're going to be able to do in your phone as well. A lot of people rely on the mobile Discord app, which, to be honest with you, is uh, just as easy, if not easier, to navigate than your PC version. Sure, there are some features that are going to be exclusive to PC, uh, and this video isn't for people who are Discord experts, okay? We're not going to be going into how to use Discord bots. We're not going to be going into, um, you know, completely building out a server. This video is for people who just want to join a Discord community and they want to navigate a Discord server. Uh, most of your bigger streamers, medium-sized streamers, and even small streamers are going to have their own Discord communities. And there's a lot of benefits to being a part of that, especially if you are a supporter or somebody who follows the streamer very closely. So with that being said, let's go ahead and open up Discord here. Okay, so we are in Discord right now. We're actually in my server. The very first thing we're going to talk about is everything here on the left-hand side, the far left-hand side, these things. So what you see here... If you are brand new to Discord and you just downloaded it, all you're going to see is this little home tab at the very top. And none of these will be here. These are all my servers um, that, I'm, that I'm a part of. Don't worry about all of these. You're going to have this little home button. And then there's a little bar um, that's going to separate that and this little plus button. This little plus button is what you're going to use when you first get into Discord. So to get into a Discord server, to get into a Discord community, you're going to need an invite. And there is um, an, a, a code, basically a HTTP, HTTP address you're going to be given to get into the Discord. You can put that code into your browser, you can put it into your notepad if you're on a mobile device and just click it, it should bring up Discord and open up the server for you. But let's say, you know, just for the sake of making this very easy, uh, you're going to want to do it this way. This little plus button right here, you're going to hit that. It's going to bring up a little tab here, it's going to say, because this button is to add a server. So you can create your own, which if you are new to Discord, I wouldn't recommend doing this yet. You don't need to create your own server right now. You want to join a server. And right here it says have an invite already. If you've been following my streams, my invite is in my pinned comment. So it's rather easy to find. So you hit join a server. Now it's bringing up this little window right here. And it says invite link. So all you're going to need to do is paste that invite link right here. And then hit join server. Once you do that... A little bubble is going to appear. If it's my server you're joining, it's going to say Senpai's Temple. And there's going to be a picture of a little Japanese temple right here. Uh, and that's how you know you've joined the server. So I have a lot of different servers here that we can go through. But we're going to focus on mine today. We're just going to keep this very simple. And also another thing that will show up once you start adding people on Discord. Once you start talking to people, you'll also get messages up here. So you have your home button. You have your messages, and then there's a little bar right here. It's kind of hard to see on the PC layout, but it's there. You'll notice it in your app. And then below that message, uh, below your messages, is going to be all of your servers that you've joined. If you're just joining mine, it's just going to be this one, which makes it really easy. So I can click on all these different servers. I can go into all these different communities, but we're going to focus on Senpai's Temple today. So here we are. Now, what we see here directly to the right of your servers is what are called channels okay 
So Discord is really an SMS app. I mean, this app is basically just giving you a variety of chat chat rooms within a community. Okay, so it's it's really rather easy. It looks like there's so much going on, but it's not. Uh, you join a community, and then you have a lot of chat rooms that you can choose from to talk about various topics. And those channels are all going to be organized if a server has been built well. Um, I've got great moderators and a great team behind my servers, so luckily for me, uh, it was actually put together really well. Um, at the very top, for me, there's a button to invite people to the server. Uh, but we won't worry about that. We're just going to look at the channels. Okay. So some of these channels you won't see because they're only available for admins and moderators like the Council of Elders. That's like my moderator channels. Important things is the first thing you're going to see. And that's where you're going to find your rules, which are going to be, you know, the rules of the server. Be kind to others. No use of ethnic slurs, racial uh, slurs, stuff like that. Um, basically just be respectful. Be a good human, you know. It's uh, it's not too hard. Uh, and then there's an announcements under important things. Announcements are going to be basically me broadcasting that I'm going live or anything really important that the community needs to know is going to be in the announcements channel. And then there's the giveaways channel under important things where you'll be able to join regular giveaways. We have a special supporter giveaway channel as well, which we'll get into a little later. So under important things, uh, and as you see important things has each one of these little channels with a hashtag so if it has a hashtag in front of it it's a channel and there's groups of channels so this particular group of channels is the important things group below that is an animal crossing group which has turnip price channel an item exchange channel clothing and trading trade chat island visits dodo codes basically all of this stuff right here pertains to one game which is animal crossing so if you watch my streams you know i've streamed a lot of animal crossing so if you know um, how Animal Crossing works, then you know that there's so many different varieties of, of things people could be talking about, trading, and doing. So that's why there's so many different channels. It makes it a place where you could focus on one specific thing. So that's what all of these are, is Animal Crossing channels. Below that, we have the Supporter Hangout, right below the Animal Crossing group. So in Supporter Hangout, this, these channels, this whole group, you need special privileges to see. So this isn't going to show up for everybody. Uh, the supporter hangout, you have to be a supporter of mine on Facebook Gaming. If you do support me and you do not see this, then that means you need to message me to have your supporter privileges. Um, Discord has no way of telling that you're a supporter on Facebook, so I have to do that manually. I have to manually give you the role of supporter. So if you're joining my server uh, and you are a supporter, it's very important that you reach out to me to get your supporter privileges because there's a special chat room just for supporters. There are uh, supporter exclusive giveaways, which are going to be here. We just gave away a $100 gift card when we hit 300 supporters. When we hit 400, we're going to give away two $100 gift cards. So getting your supporter benefits is very important and whatever server you're joining if you're joining any server um i would make sure you know with whoever runs that server that you have the right roles and privileges it's nothing you need to do on your end it's something only the admins of that server can do uh below the supporter section we have text channels this is just general chat right here okay so text channels is exactly what it sounds like it's a place to converse through text so general is really just anything and everything you want to talk about you know you can share pictures you can talk um to you know whoever you want here you can just see how everybody's day is going you can ask people what they've been playing if they want to play any games so on and so forth uh and then there's clips and highlights which is you know just different highlights and clips from games um and below that is when we get into below text channels is when we get into voice channels now this is very very important and we're actually going to pull up a enlarged version of this okay so you guys can see it a little bit better voice channels you see it right here uh let's minimize this so you guys can see only this okay so voice channels are different from text channels because you will actually be talking to people and engaging um you know you're gonna need an output and an input so you'll need a microphone of some form a lot of modern headsets especially on your phones your iphones uh samsung galaxies you know you're gonna have 
headphones that can pick up and um, broadcast. So they'll have a mic and they'll have an output, you know, your, these guys. So to join a voice lobby, you're going to need a way to talk to people and you're going to need a way to hear people. So if you, you're going to need speakers or headphones and you're going to need a microphone. To join a voice lobby, it's actually really easy. So you see voice channels right here. In order to join this voice lobby, all you have to do is click on it. If you're on your mobile phone, just tap it. It'll automatically add you to that lobby. Some lobbies will be pushed to talk. Some are just open communication. All of mine are open. So all you got to do is click on the lobby. Boom, you're in there. You can talk to the people in there. Uh, you can join them for games. When we play Among Us or v Dead by Daylight, various other multiplayer games, we have to rely on communication, so we will always be in these voice lobbies. So if you're a supporter and you want to play with us, you're going to want to make sure you get into those voice lobbies. So you just double click on the voice lobby, it'll put you in there. As you can see right here in this little photo, there are four people in this voice lobby right now. Below this lobby, there is Senpai and Chill, which is just a place where, you know, everybody can go and chit chat if they're not gaming. And then we have various gaming lobbies. There's Gaming, Gaming 01, Gaming 02, and then there's Livestream Booth. Now, Livestream Booth is a little bit different. That's for people I'm playing with exclusively on stream. And what makes it different is that it actually has this little lock key on it. You see where I circled it? Right where the speaker is, there's a little lock there. Now that means you cannot join that channel only an admin can bring you in so you would need to click on gaming or the regular lobby and then an admin can click and drag on your name and bring you into that channel so that's how the voice channels work it's pretty straightforward uh with that being said we'll bring back discord as a whole here um you have an off topic section under the voice lobbies where it's you know pets anime funny memes arts and tattoos it feels like there's so much going on that discord can be overwhelming you don't know where to go but the fact that things are grouped you know like you have an off topic group you have an 18 and up group you have a miscellaneous games group you have voice channels group you have a text channels group you have supporter hangout you have animal crossing you have important things um all of these things are grouped so whatever you're looking for just read the group title and anything with a hashtag beside it is a chat room Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Now, once you have familiarized yourself with all your channels, you can start, you know, adding other servers, joining other communities, seeing how you like it. But before we um, finish this little tutorial, let's talk about what you can do in a text channel. So we'll go to our uh, text channels here. We're just going to go to um, we're just going to go to general chat. Okay. So, Wyatt said, don't forget supporters that tomorrow is among us. Uh, that's tomorrow, so sometime tonight you'll need to practice, you will need to practice with Senpai and then do a real game tomorrow. So, Wyatt right here was talking to people and he tagged me. So that's why this looks a different color. This whole section is yellow. Uh, when you are tagged, you will get a little red, you see this little red dot right here under friend code? Somebody has recently tagged me. So if we go uh, up or down, we'll find it. It's probably way back up in there. Um, but when someone tags you, there we go. It's right there. Why it tagged me. So when someone tags you, you're going to see a yellow outline on something. And you can tag other people quite easily. So to tag people in Discord, really all you have to do is say the at symbol. So just type at. And I'm going to say at Wyatt since he was talking to me. As soon as I type in the first three letters of his name, he popped up right there. It's going to generate a list. So we'll say Wyatt. Uh, I'm going to say thanks for sharing. And I'm going to try to spell it properly. There we go. So I tagged him and I said thanks for sharing. You can tag anybody using the at symbol and then putting their name. Now, um, aside from that, you know, you could just type regularly. You hit enter. You can attach um, GIFs and emojis as well. If you look on... Let's minimize this just a little bit so you can kind of see better. Oh no. Here we go. So right here, you can attach emojis, you can attach GIFs, and you can even attach GIFs. You can like upgrade people's Discord. But we're not going to get into the very advanced stuff. I want this tutorial to be very basic so you have a very basic understanding of Discord. So to recap everything that we've talked about today. 
on this side, the far left, these are your servers. If you don't have any servers, all you're going to have is this plus sign and a home button. So you hit this plus sign, you go to join server, and then you put the link to that server, which you will get from the streamer or from the community. Then you hit join. Once you do that, you will have a server pop up here. You select that server, like there's Pablo's server. Let's just click on Sebi's Temple again. And once you click on that server, it's going to show all of that server's channels that you have access to. So you can scroll all through these channels, all these different channels. And once you click on a channel, right here in the middle is where it's going to generate uh, all the conversations that are being held in that channel. On the far right hand side, uh, this is just showing, um, you know, who's who in a server. Okay, so you have me at the top. So senpai up here, if you need to reach me, you can find me. You can just click right there. You can send me a message. Uh, you have the priestess, which are my moderators. So if you have any, you know, if you want supporter access or anything like that, you can just reach out to them. So you're, you know, if I'm streaming, I can be hard to get a hold of. And then below that, we have our supporters. And it also shows who's online. So if you're trying to reach somebody or message somebody, you can find them here on this right hand side. Uh, and you can scroll through there to see, you know, all of these people within the server. And then at the end, it, at the bottom, it's going to have bots, but we won't really worry about that. And that's it. That's a full breakdown of Discord. Now, like I said, you know, this was not a tutorial for experts. This is not a tutorial on how to completely build a server. This tutorial is made, uh, or was made, really just to give you guys... A first look if you've never used discord if you don't know how to join a server if you don't know how to join a voice lobby if you don't know how to join a chat lobby that's how uh, just a very very basic breakdown and I made this because a lot of people that want to join me in games they don't know how to use discord and it's very hard to explain it to them without something to show them so that's why I made this I figured this could actually help show you guys and when you ask me while I'm live how do I join your voice lobby how do I join your discord now I can just send you a link to this video and boom you're good to go and if you're not uh, here because of that if you're just here because you were scrolling through YouTube trying to learn how to use a discord or, or learn what discord is um, I hope this video was really helpful if it was, please hit that thumbs up button and hit that notification bell. We've been doing a lot of tutorials here, um, mostly on Facebook gaming, but we're going to be doing things on a lot of software and, um, you know, such as Discord and other applications that you may use uh, for streaming, viewing streams, or just participating in a stream community. So I just want to say thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to find me on Facebook and ask me questions while I'm live, I'm live every day except for Monday. And I will have a link to my stream and a link to my Discord community in the video description below. So, you know, if you want to join my Discord community and if you want to message me about some more advanced tips and tricks on Discord, or if you have a um, recommendation for a future video or something you'd like to know more about, then by all means, please reach out to me. I love helping others, and this is uh, the third of many, many tutorial videos. So, with that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day or evening, and hopefully we'll catch you on the next stream.